Welcome to Jijja Academy Lahore by Ta Binda Itazaz. In this lecture, we'll discuss different types of computer network. In our previous lectures, we discussed that if we connect two or more computers together in such a way that they are able to communicate with each other and communication means exchanging the data between computers then this connectivity is called a computer network the formal definition of computer network is a computer network consists of two or more computers that are connected together to share information and resources resources can be software resources or hardware resources today we shall discuss different types of computer network mainly there are three categories of computer network lan man wan lan stands for local area network man stands for metropolitan area network and wan stands for wide area network the types of networks are based on the area that is covered by a network for example local area network lan covers the smallest area then comes man man covers area larger than lan network and third category the wan network wide area network it covers area larger than both of lan and man let's discuss these types in detail local area network lan it is the most common type of computer network and it covers a small area small area means a building a network made in a building or a network made inside an office it may be a computer lab the network made in a computer lab is also known as local area network lan similarly if we connect group of buildings the network made in a group of building is also known as a local area network here you can see different resources and computers are connected together that makes a local area network the data sharing speed in local area network is very high it ranges from 10 megabits per second to 1000 megabits per second which is a very high speed and this speed is more than the speed provided by telephone lines there are some problems or disadvantages of local area network number 1 data can be transmitted in a limited distance in short distance and the second disadvantage is we can connect a limited number of computers in local area network the network in a computer lab of your college is the best example of local area network the next type of computer network is man man stands for metropolitan area network man covers an area of a city which is larger than the area covered by lan but smaller than the area covered by wan which we'll discuss shortly in this diagram you can see this is a metropolitan area network which comprises on a city in this diagram there are four local area networks the first local area network or lan one is the network prepared inside a hospital located in a city the other lan or local area network network 2 is the network of a college situated in the same city then the third local area network is the network of a factory and the fourth network is the network of a local school the school located in the same city now if we connect all these four local area networks together it will make a metropolitan area why it is a metropolitan area because this network is comprised on the whole city so a network that covers area of a city is called metropolitan area network or man in other words we can say that 
man connects two or more lands together which are located in a city a real time example of man is cable tv network in a city the data transmission speed of metropolitan area network is greater than the speed of local area network but it has some disadvantages it is more expensive than lan and it is difficult to maintain metropolitan area network as compared to maintain local area network the third type of computer network is wan wan stands for wide area network the wide area network connects computers and other devices in different cities and countries for example in this diagram there are different local area networks and metropolitan area networks now if we connect metropolitan area networks and local area networks together then this larger network will be named as wide area network or wan the best example of wide area network is internet that connects cities and countries all over the world in a wide area network there are some larger computers as well those larger computers share information and resources with other connected computers for example in this diagram you can see this main frame computer is a larger computer that shares information and resources with other computers these other computers which are connected to larger or main frame computer are known as terminals why it is called terminal terminal means end points so the end points of a network which may be a personal computer pc is called terminal or terminal computer the larger computer that share resources and information are also known as host computers so a host computer is the large computer that shares data and resources with other computers in a network and a terminal or terminal computer is a computer which acts like an end point in a network here you can see th these are the end points of this network and logs on to a host computer it means these terminal computers log on to the host computer now the question is how a pc or personal computer is converted into a terminal there is a software named as terminal emulation software this software is used to allow a personal computer to appear as a terminal it means by using terminal emulation software on our personal computer we can make a personal computer to behave or act like a terminal computer here i told you three terms host computer which is a larger computer in a network and shares its information and resources with other computers connected in the same network the second term is terminal or terminal computer now what are the terminal computers these are personal computers but with the help of a software we convert our personal computer into a terminal computer and why do we convert into a terminal computer in order to take services from the larger computer such as a main frame computer and the software we use is terminal emulation software now let's see what is the difference between lan local area network and wan wide area network first difference is the local area network is used to connect computers at one place in a building or a group of buildings whereas wide area network is used to connect computers anywhere in the world the best example of wide area network is internet so we can say that local area network covers limited area and wide area network covers large area next difference is local area network is less costly whereas wide area network is expensive than local area network 
The next difference is local area network provides fast data transfer speed, but wide area network provides slower data transfer speed. The computers in local area network are connected through wires, whereas the computers or devices connected in wide area network use telephone lines. The next difference is the local area network has less possibility of data transmission error, but wide area network has higher possibility of data transmission errors. The last difference is local area network is always owned by a person or by an organization, but wide area network is owned by none. No one is the owner of wide area network neither a person nor an organization or company. These were the different types of computer network. Thank you for watching. For more ICS computer science lectures, subscribe to my channel.